Welcome everybody. In today's video we will learn how to use the new Unity Dot system to create high performance games. We will create a sample scene with lots of people walking around. First we will do that using traditional game objects and after that we will do the same using the entity component system of Unity Dots. Let's find out how they both perform. So what is Unity Dots? Unity uses C Sharp as its uh, scripting language and in that language it's very easy to write um, code because all the memory uh, allocation is handled for you. But uh, this gives a small overhead in um, performance and usually you don't notice that when you use for example just lighting and uh, a, a very big meshes because uh, the um, graphics card will handle that for you but if you create uh, a lot of objects like thousands of them then this overhead adds up and it can be um, performing much worse than for example um, Unreal Engine where they use uh, C++, C++. So in those cases um, Unity is kind of weak and to counter that they have created this uh, dot technique and um, that actually just uses uh, like C, C++ under the hood so you don't need to write C++ code yourself but uh, it's just as fast but in that case you need to use uh, entities and the entity component system and also the burst compiler and uh, there is also a job system where you can run uh, jobs in parallel so all of this uh, makes uh, unity perform just as good as uh, native C sharp um, scripting language but uh, it's a bit complicated to use you need to do stuff to make sure that you don't have any managed objects in your uh, game for our test I've created this large plane on which we will spawn a lot of people therefore I've created this spawn script and it uh, just spawns a random prefab from a list onto the play field so we need to set uh, the prefabs for this spawn script I've downloaded uh, some um, characters from Mixamo and we will now uh, add them to the spawn script and we will spawn a new person every uh, half second and we will start with uh, 100 persons and all these um, prefabs contain an animator the person animator which is just a very simple animator that makes them walk uh, the walking animation is um, from the starter assets package by the way so let's try it out you can see that now we have got our people walking around on the play field by the way we don't use collision detection instead uh, we got this person script that's attached to the prefabs of the the people and um, it just makes them uh, walk in a random uh, position with by rotating at the start and then uh, over here you can see that they're walking forward and as soon as they are uh, hitting the boundaries of our play field we rotate them so they uh, turn around so that way they stay on the play field without using collision detection okay we're now running the game we are starting with 100 people and we will slowly increase that number and uh, we will uh, decide when that frame rate drops to 30 frames per second it's no longer acceptable so that's like the maximum that we can handle with uh, this uh, traditional approach of using game objects so we're now at 400 people and we have a frame rate of 120 so that's still very good 
I don't have an extremely uh, good processor or graphics card so just an average system now we have 600 people and you can see that the frame rate drops to 50, 40 depends a little bit in which direction you're looking but in general it's now definitely a lower frame rate than it was before it's now 40 with 800 people it's still above 30 so it's still acceptable and now we have almost 1000 people and now if we look at the right direction you can see that the frame rate is lower than 30 so it's about 1000 people we can have walking around in the scene before uh, the frame rate gets too low I'll just continue a little bit to see how the frame rate uh, evolves it's now about 20 with already almost 1500 people walking in the scene so this uh, is still looking not that bad but uh, the frame rate is uh, getting a lot lower than it was uh, when there was only a few people walking around in the scene so this definitely has an effect on the uh, performance okay so now let's do the same but this time using unity dots first we need to install some packages so you need to install the uh, entities and entities graphics package over here and if you do so uh, you will also install some dependencies like the burst compiler this is the system that uh, unity dots uses to create objects these objects are not managed by the C sharp but um, by um, C++ code written by unity so uh, after we've installed these packages we can create a sub scene like this i've already created the sub scene over here <coughs> and in this sub scene you can still uh, add some uh, game objects but everything in this sub scene will be uh, using entities instead of game objects so this uh, spawner authoring script is still a mono behavior script but inside this script we have a baker that will bake uh, entities for us based on the game object so it will actually convert the game object into entities so uh, we take as an input the prefabs and we convert them to entities and put them inside a buffer and finally we will uh, add the component spawner entity so even the spawner itself is an entity and uh, this spawner will create uh, other entities based on the, the prefab so if you have this you will have entity and you can use it so this uh, entity spawn spawner entity is used in this script and it, this script is uh, derived from iSystem it's also part of DOTS um, first we make sure that we have uh, this entity object created before we execute this update function so this just makes sure that we uh, wait until that uh, other script is, uh, has run and then uh, in the update function we use this update uh, actually only to do it once so I've created this boolean so set it to true so we will only run this code once 
because you know that the unupdate function is called uh, all the time. But uh, for this uh, spawn system, we only need to run it once. We will spawn all the uh, items at once in this uh, example, because that's more easy than to spawn them over time, like I did with the uh, spawner game object. So over here we will create 1000 uh, objects. We will create them all at once because spawning them over time requires a bit more code and I was too lazy to write all of that. But for the test we can just uh, create them all at once and then uh, see how fast it runs. Uh, please uh, bear in mind that you can only use uh, entity objects or uh, the native um, objects from uh, C sharp like um, this float 2. You can't use um, the, the usual stuff like uh, floats or even uh, uh, custom objects because they are all managed and uh, we don't want to have any managed code in here because um, the idea is that uh, all these uh, objects are created by a special code from that uh, system that um, Unity created. So we set them at a random position and uh, also random rotation and then um, we have these objects but they also need to be updated and therefore we have created this move system it's another system that runs all the time it also requires that the spawner entity uh, object is there uh, and in the on update function we will run this continuously it will just loop through all the uh, entities that have uh, a move speed script attached to them so that's uh, actually all the the persons so the people the prefab persons that walk around have this move speed script so for them we will change their position we will move them forward by the way take a look at this this is also different than in uh, game objects the delta time uh, function we use the system api for that uh, so everything is a bit different uh, when you're using uh, the entity component system because it was not suitable the way it was um, for the uh, the burst compiling so and over here uh, we also make sure that uh, the, op the the persons stay on the play field by rotating them uh, 180 degrees uh, in case they uh, uh, are threatened to leave the, uh, the play field. So now let's set up the spawner uh, objects so we can uh, test this situation. Um, we need to add the prefabs to this uh, spawner as well. I've created a special version of the prefabs over here because the original prefabs they use this person script which is a mono behavior script and we can't use that uh, when using entities so over here we have a different script called move speed authoring and this contains a, a value a speed it's a baking this value so it's uh, also uh, an entity <coughs> and um, this uh, value speed is actually not even used at the moment but we use it to uh, to detect if we have um, a person object or a different uh, kind of entity because uh, as you remember we also have an entity for the uh, the spawn object itself but it doesn't need to be moved so we don't need to run the move uh, script for, for that so let's add these uh, prefabs Let's lock this and um, select all the prefabs over here. There you go. And now let's run the program and see if it works. <coughs> 
So let's run the program and we've now created 1000 people. Oh. <coughs> and by the way, before we run this, we need to disable the other spawner scripts. So we just work with uh, the entities. Uh, and you can see that it's working but it's not quite as we would expect you can see that there's no animation running the animator doesn't work for um, entities so that's something that um, unity is still working on to create an animator we've also s see that these uh, these prefabs are actually kind of strange looking kind of broken I don't know the reason for that but at least it's working but you can see that the frame rate is even worse than using normal uh, unity game objects so in this situation it's clear that uh, dots is not very uh, sensible thing to use it's much more complicated to write the code and even after you've done so you don't end up with a decent uh, game so let's take a look at the uh, entity hierarchy you can see over here all the entities you can see that the, all the, uh, the prefabs are now entities and also the uh, the spawner itself is an entity and you can see all the components that the, the system uh, consists of here as well you can see the systems that we have we've created this uh, spawn system and this move system ourselves so but uh, the main uh, problem here is that uh, this is not a, a good use case for this uh, unity dots it's not suitable to do things like this yet okay let's try something different then we can just disable this spawner and enable this one again and this time we will uh, remove all these uh, prefabs and instead use a, a very simple prefab a, a simple cube um, just put it over here so this cube um, also contains the person script just like the prefabs and let's uh, see if we run this And we create, for example, um, let's say 2000. How fast this will run? Okay, this is still uh, pretty fast. Let's uh, create even more items. Let's say 10,000. We can see that with 10,000 we get a frame rate of uh, about uh, 30 frames per second with the uh, original version. Let's push it even a little bit more to let's say uh, 30,000. Okay, now we definitely see that the uh, the uh, the game object version is uh, running kind of slow only 10 frames per second and now let's do the same with the uh, the entity version so we're gonna disable this spawner and enable this one again remove the prefabs and add uh, an entity prefab
This is also a cube, but this time with uh, the move speed authoring script attached to it. Uh, let's create uh, also uh, 30,000 of these. And we see now that uh, with um, the dots version, it's actually much, much faster. We can still maintain a frame rate of above 90 while we have 30,000 objects over here. So th in these kind of situations, uh, it's really uh, useful to have this, uh, this feature of Unity. But I think it's very rare that you will have uh, games that use uh, that many uh, objects but even so it's really cool that this is now possible change the uh, dots version to use even 100,000 objects you can see that the frame rate is dropping a little bit but it's still uh, very uh, fluent and uh, yeah it's uh, really amazing how uh, good the performances. That's it for today. Feel free to try out Unity Dots based on my example repository. Please share the results so we can learn from each other. Take care and see you in the next video.